And that is what I am going to do today. I am going to share the foundational element that everyone needs to feel total confidence in their clothes, in their life. If more women had this one thing, then we would be unstoppable in the world. And what I am talking about is to feel comfortable in your skin. If more women showed up feeling comfortable in their skin, then we would be truly unstoppable, okay? So I talk to a lot of women. I talk to women range in ages. They range in their size and their shape. They live all over the place, really different locations. They have all different lifestyles, the way they spend their time, different jobs, some work, some don't, right? And all of them, or not all of them, but I would say many of them. It's not, not everybody suffers from this, but most people do is that they're disconnected from their bodies, okay? And when you have this disconnection from your body, it is going to hold you back. It is going to hold you back in how you show up. So as I was saying, I talked to so many different women. So, right, it doesn't matter what size you are. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter where you live or how you spend your time. If you are feeling disconnected from your body and you feel uncomfortable in your skin, that is going to hold you back from showing up in the way that you want to, okay? So there are a couple different ways that this can show up for you. So you could feel uncomfortable in your skin and that could be sitting on top of frustration and anger, okay? So I can relate to this one because a couple of years ago, I had an injury in my shoulder and it really set me back. In fact, it actually changed my life, okay? I used to be a very, I wanna say athletic, but active. Um, so I used to teach yoga back in the day and I've always, loved to just move my body vigorously, okay? So when this happened, this completely changed everything. And when it was happening, I was feeling very angry and I was feeling very frustrated at my body because I would look at other people or I would compare myself to how I used to be, right? Comparison, I know it's, it's never a good way to focus your energy, but I do it too. And it really, really made me feel angry and it made me feel frustrated at my body because my body didn't do what I wanted it to do. I wanted to move in a certain way and I couldn't and I still can't, okay? So you're, you might be feeling the frustration with your body. Maybe it doesn't look how you want it to look in your clothes, okay? Maybe your clothes don't quite hang the way that you want to and, and you feel like it's wrong, okay? So another way that when we feel uncomfortable in our skin, it could also show up as, um, or it could sit underneath the fear and the insecurity that many of us have. And this is something that is when we are too afraid to try anything new and different because we're afraid of messing up, getting it wrong. People are gonna judge us, right? So we don't, we don't even wanna do that. We feel afraid, we feel insecure. So instead we choose to just hide, right? To blend in, right? So that could look like wearing really dark clothes all the time or wearing clothes that are too big for you, all right? So building the confidence to feel comfortable in your own skin is a practice, all right? So it can take a while to get good at it, right? That's the thing with a practice. That's why I like to call it a practice because it's just something that you're constantly doing to make progress. You don't know if you ever actually like achieve it, but you want to work on making progress so that you feel more and more comfortable in your own skin, okay? You want to feel more connected to your body, all right? So it can take a while to develop this practice, but it is never too late to get started. It is never too late to start that practice. You could start that right now, all right? So I'm gonna help you and I'm gonna share three tips to help you get started so that you can feel more comfortable in your own skin, all right? So step number one or tip number one is to notice your negativity, okay? So this is when you, okay, so let me just, let me just explain this. All right, our brains, our brains are very complex, right? There is a part of our brain that, wants to keep us small, okay? So this is going back to when um, 
your brain wanted to protect you um, as if a tiger was chasing you or something, right? So the brain was developed to protect you from a real threat, all right? So you trying something new and different or doing something that you don't usually do feels like a threat to your brain. So your brain is gonna just shoot off all these signals in the form of thoughts, which are gonna come across as voices in your head. They're just your thoughts, but they run wild and they're trying to keep you safe, right? But they're actually keeping you small. They're holding you back, all right? So step number one is to notice your negativity, is to notice when those thoughts that are being triggered by the brain that wants to keep you safe, just notice them. So that could look like you getting dressed and you seeing yourself in the mirror and you hear that voice, your thoughts say, oh, that's it. That's all I could do. That doesn't look very good, right? So you hear that negative voice starting to spiral in your brain, right? So instead of taking action from that place, notice it. You can even say something. Sometimes I do this out loud. Actually, I'm like, I hear you. I see you. I'm not acting on you right now. Just notice it because if you ever want to make change, then you need to have awareness. Awareness is instrumental when you want to make change. All right. So just start paying attention to those thoughts and notice when they turn negative. All right. Eventually, you're going to want to start reprogramming them. But let's just stay with noticing them. That's a really good place to start because I think that it comes becomes a little bit subconscious and you don't even realize that, that those thoughts are going on, all right? Step number two, oh, okay. So also when you, when you do hear those negative thoughts, what it might want you to do is to just give up, right? To go back and put on the really dark clothes or the baggy outfit, go back and hide, right? So instead of doing that, instead of doing the old behavior, Step two is to modify your behavior, okay? Make an adjustment, all right? So going back to my shoulder injury, um, I had to completely reimagine what my, what my movement looked like, okay? So like I said, you know, I was that person who could, I could actually put my hands down and kick up into a handstand and hold it there, all right? I did that, right? So I had to just completely reimagine how I move my body. So I had to modify, all right? So the way that I move my body today is very different from how I move my body even just a few years ago. I've been, this is, this shift happened for me, I would say about three or four years ago. So I guess we're going on four or five years, right? Anyways, so modify your behavior. So for you in dealing with your clothing and your body and feeling comfortable in your skin, this could mean modifying your outfits. Start to wear things differently, choose different styles, find out what looks best on your body now and start wearing those because that is going to make you feel good. When you put on something and you like how it looks, it makes you feel good. And when you feel good, that is going to motivate you to keep doing good things in your life, right? So if you wanna lose weight and you see yourself looking good and you're feeling good because of that, right? Or, or you're, when you feel good, that's going to motivate you to keep doing better. So if you are trying to lose weight, you're just gonna feel more and more inspired to stick to your plan, right? To achieve your weight loss goals, all right? So step number two is to modify your behavior, right? Don't, don't give up on yourself, just make some tweaks, make some simple adjustments, figure out what's gonna work for your body now adjust what you wear and then start wearing that because that's going to feel good, all right? Tip number three is to compliment your body, all right? So you know when you see your loved one, your friends or your family, you just wanna hug them, right? You just want them to feel good. You want them to know that you love them. This is what I'm suggesting to do with your body, okay? Start to compliment your body do nice things for your body, do things that let your body know that you love it, right? And that you're there to support it, okay? So this could look like laying in bed all day, right? After a day like yesterday, you may be feeling completely drained and have no nothing left to give. So honor that in your body. Maybe you take a bed day. I know someone who actually does that. She calls them her bed days, right? So, or maybe it looks like um, to compliment your body is to actually go and buy yourself a couple of new pieces, right? Maybe a new top, maybe a new dress, maybe get a pair of pants that fit you really well, all right? 
do nice things for your body. Do things that make it feel good, all right? Do not skimp on yourself, all right? Do the opposite, right? The pandemic has showed us that by taking care of ourselves, we're actually tending to the needs of others, right? So your self-care routine, it is the same. When you treat yourself with love and with acceptance, you're standing up for what matters, okay? And this is the action of someone who is comfortable in her own skin, all right? So one of the things that I do with my clients is I help them find clothes that complement their body. And this is really huge. When you wanna feel comfortable in your skin and you have a good selection of clothing that you know complements your body, it's just gonna impact how you're showing up in the rest of your life. So if you need some help with your style, then let's talk, all right? So book a complimentary call. This is a free call where we are going to go and get on Zoom and we are going to talk about what is holding you back specifically with your style and what you need to do so that you feel more comfortable in your skin and you start showing up with more confidence in your life, all right? So those are the three tips to help you feel more comfortable in your skin, all right? Notice your negativity, you're going to modify your behavior, and then you're going to complement your body, okay? I encourage you to, to think about these, and this is the type of, these are the types of actions that you can actually start doing right now, all right? So do it, see what happens, right? Maybe just do it for a day, see if you notice a difference, all right? You don't really have anything to lose by giving it a try, all right? So that is what I wanted to share with you today. I will be back here next week with another live styling tutorial. I will see you every day in the group. And that's it. All right. So take care of yourself.